Hey, right, hello everybody, it's uh, Govan and Other Works again. <coughs> I'm starting a new piece here uh, for a bir birthday present for my mother-in-law. Uh, it's going to be five daisies uh, with a bunch of steel ribbon and vines and leaves and all that good stuff. I just wanted to go through a quick uh, lowdown on how I get to the daisy blanks. Uh, this is a 16 gauge sheet metal, mild steel. Uh, First, I made a little, a little uh, stencil of a petal here. I lay it out. I cut out the circle to the diameter that I want, and then uh, just put the little petals on there. Then next, I'll cut out the rough shape here with a grinder and a cutoff wheel, and uh, from there. I'll get a hacksaw and take down all these little rough spots and then file the rest down until I have something like this. And those are the just the blanks. I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, cold work and a little bit of hot work on these to give them all their form and their shape and everything. But uh, that's basically how I get to my flower blanks. Now I have to do that to every single side. I'm not going to show all that. <laughs> Alright, well I got all five done here. All the blanks done. It's, they're going to be arranged something like this. A little bit of a half round there. Uh, obviously they're all going to have texture and they're going to be uh, hammered to look like an actual flower instead of just a blank. But uh, that was a lot of fucking filing. And I'm tired, and now I'm going to stop for the day. Right on. Alright, now it's time to uh, do the cold work to get this look here. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see what the camera is seeing. But I'm um, using the spoon. Uh, this is like the tablespoon size uh, swage here. And uh, basically, you do... Let's see, we'll do this one right here set it in there so that it's where you want it. Start working away. You want to try and get a hammer mark pretty much covering all of the material there. If you leave a spot that you didn't hit uh, you'll definitely be able to see it on the other side and it doesn't look right. So, after the steel has been annealed, like I had just done, uh, it makes this move really easy. And, uh, this makes it much better. And you, you can hear it, I don't know if it's going to come out, but you can hear whenever you're hitting steel that hasn't been hit yet. Whenever you're hitting steel that is already conformed to the swage, you'll hear a, a thud. Otherwise, you'll hear like a pinging. So, 
when you hear that thud, you know you're you're moving the steel as far as it's gonna go in your cherry. So basically there's that. And once this whole thing is done, the flower is really going to come to life there. Alright, now it's time to uh, bring this down. And actually, I'm just going to use uh, this ball peen here. Uh, the face of the hammer is exactly the right size that I need. Uh, I don't have any pipe in here that will fit just right, so I'm just going to do it that way. So you want to position it as close as you can to the center. Get it real nice and give it a nice whack. And there you go. You can see right there that the flower now has some depth to it and each of the little petals are a little bit different, you know, so it's not uh, perfectly flat and boring. Each one's a little different. And basically I just got to do this four more times and then I'll be on to the next step. Pretty cool, eh? Right on. Alright, well now it's time for me to start the ribbon that's going to hold all five of these flowers together. Um, so I, I've been spinning a maybe about a half an hour arranging these things until I found an arrangement that I really liked. Now in order to get this eighth by uh, three quarter to match, obviously uh, I need to make some sort of a layout here and uh, what I've done is right now I haven't connected the lines yet but there's, there's going to be lines here and each one of these has at least two lines going through it. So this one is going to connect to this, which is going to be the centers of these two. Then you have so on and so forth. So I'm gonna, next I'm going to connect all the lines. And now whenever it, I can take those away, I'm going to know exactly where I'm going to need to have my rivet holes on this thing so I can make it match. So right Okay, on. I got the lines connected here. Uh, one thing I thought I had to do was number the flowers. And I numbered the flowers to where they're perpendicular with this right here so I know which way they are oriented so one two three four five whatever now I have those lines drawn so let me show you uh, how I'm going to make this match get these flowers off alright okay so there's my little jig basically so I'm going to need this to go from here, to here, to here, to here, to there. That's where my rivets are going to go. And uh, now I can start forming this thing to match, and I won't have to do any kind of guesswork. I can just come over here and see, does it match, does it match, blah, blah, blah. Once I have all those, I can actually, um, I'm going to drill the holes in here, set it over it, and then make last little adjustments to make sure that they all match and then I'll rivet that to this. So uh, that's just a cool little way I thought of to get the uh, orientation right for all the flowers on the ribbon. Right on. I, I just wanted to show something really cool. Uh, in order to get my measurements and everything for the bar I just connected the dots there and measured and uh, they're all exactly three and three quarters so that, that shows uh, the layout to be just fucking perfect. Uh, these flowers are all very similar in size and uh, it just worked out that they're all exactly three and three quarters. I thought that was pretty cool.